ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your NAR president, Vince Malton. Good morning. I'm Vince Malta, 2020 National Association of Realtors President, and I'm excited to welcome such bright and intellectual minds uh, to our public policy forum today to discuss affordable housing. It couldn't be a more timely or imperative topic for the economy, for our communities, and for all of us as individuals. Americans value their freedoms, perhaps none more than the freedom to make our own decisions. We like having choices, and yet where you live can affect the choices you make dramatically. It doesn't just affect your choices sometimes, it makes the choice for you. Whether your commute to work is two hours or whether it's 15 minutes, whether you take public transportation or you take a car where you have to pay for gasoline, insurance, and maintenance, where you buy groceries and how much you pay for them, where your kids go to school, and whether you have access to trees and parks. And it even makes a choice for your life expectancy. To live affordably, too, often means making trade-offs, like spending less time with family and friends, choosing between paying medical bills or paying for a place to live, or in the worst case scenario, living in a car on the street because your income is insufficient to pay for the area's housing. Shelter is fundamental, yet rent growth is outpaging wage growth in more than half of all the housing markets. And home prices have outpaced wage growth in much of the country in recent years, according to NAR's research. NAR's research has also found that afford as affordability declines, so does job growth. Now, it's true that the Great Recession is a decade behind us, and many sectors of our economy have rebounded. But declining housing affordability looms as large as ever. Homeownership rates have deteriorated, and that's true for Americans on the whole, and particularly among key groups of consumers, like millennials, people of color, and middle-income families who would like to build financial stability and their own American dream. When people are spending nearly 40% of their income on housing, especially in high-cost markets, they simply can't keep up. This should be troubling to our elected officials and everyone working to make their community a better place. This problem is too large to be solved by one group alone. Government, nonprofits, <coughs> industry must work together to see how our combined abilities and resources can find solutions. Our forum today is designed to do just that. Examine the underlying issues evaluate solutions to the housing affordability problem. And Realtors will do all we can to help lead the way. One of NAR's strategic priorities for 2020 is collaborating for greater housing equality and affordability. We plan to work together with a broad coalition of organizations including multicultural real estate groups, lenders, and builders to broaden housing opportunities for underserved communities. And we want to work with all of you to lead fresh thinking that will be and bring positive change. Today, we have a fantastic line of speakers who will tackle issues like housing supply, access to credit, the racial home ownership gap, tax incentives for affordable housing and home ownership. NAR will also unveil new research papers dealing with accessory, accessory dwelling units, zoning issues, and tax incentives for home ownership. Some critics have blamed problems in the housing market on an infatuation with home ownership. But we believe that widely spread property ownership helps make our society fairer, more prosperous, and more equitable. 
We also believe that everyone deserves access to affordable housing, whether as owners or renters. We don't want to see tenants burdened by unsupportable rent increases. We need increased housing supply. We need regulatory changes. We need to think beyond tactics like rent control that disincentivizes landlords and builders or encourage them to get out of the rental, busy, uh, rental business housing construction altogether. Again, we must look at new ideas in the public policy arena to improve the supply of affordable housing and provide access to home ownership for everybody who wants and is ready for the responsibility. Realtors will continue to help consumers understand and take advantage of the many resources available to help people begin the journey to home ownership. For instance, federal loan programs that offer low or no down payment options, state and local housing finance agencies, nonprofits, and mortgage lenders that offer down payment assistance programs, and credit counselors that help consumers improve their credit scores before they even apply for a mortgage. And most importantly, we understand that access dream of home ownership, individuals and families must first build financial stability, have access to safe and stable neighborhoods, and access to mortgage credit. I believe we all have something to offer as we begin to tackle one of our country's most intractable issues. And as Americans, we all certainly have a stake in the outcome. And that's why it's critical that we meet here today to collectively discuss much-needed policy solutions to declining housing, housing affordability across the United States. On behalf of the National Association of Realtors' 1.4 million members, the many who struggle to find affordable shelter, and future generations of American homeowners, we thank you for coming today to talk about solutions as we move forward.